so compression tutorial have you ever wanted to record a video and uh, you know edit it in AE and then export it at something like 20 frames a second 22 frames a second but you have to export it as an AVI because if you export it in media encoder it's going to be forced into a specific frame rate well here's the tutorial for you so basically uh, you know besides the corny intro this is how you do it you know you're gonna download handbrake and essentially what handbrake is is it's a program to compress your videos and once you have that downloaded you're just gonna take your AVI that you've rendered in After Effects if you want to do any upscaling or anything like that you're gonna have to do that in After Effects itself but once you have your AVI um, let's say I have this AVI which is part of a collab that's not out yet little leak um, but this AVI is essentially 1.47 gigabytes so it's like one and a half gigabytes essentially and I don't really feel like uploading that not to mention it's also if we take a look in our properties folder it is 22 frames a second so if we had tried to render this with media encoder it probably would have been forced into 24 which is not a huge issue except that it's going to duplicate some of the frames which is going to make our video look choppy and weird so you don't want to do that so if you want to upload this and have it keep quality i'm just going to drag it into handbrake once this is loaded you know you can change the path that you save it to wherever um what you're going to want to do is basically pick a web preset from this little web panel that's larger than whatever you want to send it so if you have um a 1080p video 1080p is fine if you have 4k you're going to do 4k and so on if you're doing anything above 4K, you're going to have to come to production and then just do production max. But for the most part, web is fine. So let's do web 1080p. Um, and next thing you want to do is go to dimensions. Now, this is really important because Handbrake likes to automatically crop stuff a lot. And I've noticed that if I'm doing a large batch, if I'm com compressing like clips and desk or something, a lot of times it'll automatically crop it which is going to mess up the clip completely so you're just going to make sure that all of these are zero this should say one by one and that the source is the same as the width and height so once you've done that then you can come over to video tab set your frame rate to same as source you're going to want to set it to constant frame rate so that it's not frame dropping um, and then you're going to want to change the constant quality to five that's just my personal preference some might say it's a little bit overkill it just I found that five results in, you know, from AVI especially, a really low file size while still keeping like almost identical quality. Um, encoder preset, it doesn't really matter too much. If you want, I don't know, slower, then you could just put it to slower, faster, you could put it to fast. I usually just leave it at, you know, medium or fast. I'm gonna put medium for this tutorial. And then everything else is pretty much fine. The audio, the subtitles is usually I mean, you don't really have subtitles on an edit or most videos, but everything else should be fine. Then once you're done with that, you just want to want to click start and code. Or if you're doing a batch file, you can add it to queue and then you can import more and keep adding them to queue and then just run the whole queue. But that's pretty much self-explanatory. But yeah, if we take a look at the original video here, as you can see, it's pretty high quality. So just keep this in mind. Um, let's go to a later part. Minimax, as you can see there, but that's not really important for the sake of the video, but you see the quality. If we open up this video, which I'm going to do, as you can see, this video, almost identical quality. It's, it's pretty high quality. No one's really going to notice any compression. There's not too much like, as you see, the Minimax looks almost identical, except the only difference is rather than being 1.5 gigabytes, this is going to be 58 megabytes, which actually, if you have Nitro, you could send over Discord. So like I said, this is helpful for, you know, files that are too big as AVIs, but you can't really export them with media encoder because of frame rates or just files that are too big in general and you want to compress them. So that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.